China increases the light storage time to one hour. Can the light really be stored? What conditions are needed to store light? How to make the light stop? What is the use of storing light? On April 25, 2021, the University of Science and Technology of China released a message. The scientific research team has achieved a major breakthrough in the field of optical quantum storage, successfully increasing the storage time of coherent light to one hour, taking a key step towards the realization of quantum U-disk. In just a few words, the main content of today's video is concluded, the field of optical quantum, optical storage, and quantum U-disk, as well as various issues that extend around these three points, I will explain them one by one for you, so that you can realize the greatness of this achievement. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's take a look at the topic we are going to talk about today, when it comes to light, everyone is familiar with it. Like sunlight, it is one of the basic conditions for human survival. We all know that the propagation of light is all movement. We can see and feel it, but we cannot hold the light in our hands, let alone save the bright sunshine in a box, so that we can open the box and enjoy it from time to time. However, this somewhat sci-fi news was finally confirmed last year. Scientists in China have successfully stored light for one hour. What is going on, first of all, let's make it clear that light can not only be used to illuminate, but also to convey messages. For example, the traffic lights that we often encounter in our daily life, or the optical fibers that we often use to surf the internet, these all use light to transmit information. The reason why light can become a changeable information medium is mainly because light is also an electromagnetic wave just like the signals sent by our mobile phones or the radio waves received by radios. Therefore, light can also be used to carry information, photons are carriers of electromagnetic radiation, so using light to transmit information for communication has the characteristics of fast speed and stable transmission. Not only that, compared to traditional communication methods, the biggest feature of quantum communication is its security. Traditional communication signals generally rely on electromagnetic waves to transmit data, which is easy to be captured during transmission. Even if it is protected by a password, it will be cracked due to a single encryption method. But if it is quantum communication, because of the use of quantum superposition and entanglement effects, and according to the characteristics of quantum mechanics, this new communication method has ultra-high security that cannot be eavesdropped or cracked. Therefore, quantum communication is the main information transmission method in the future. Quantum communication can be achieved in two ways, one is by means of a quantum network, and the other is a quantum U-disk. What we are going to talk about today is the quantum U-disk. So, why use quantum U-disk to transmit information? Because the photons that record information are transmitted by optical fibers, when the photons pass through the optical fibers, the loss is particularly serious, for example, if you want to transmit a distance of 100 kilometers, only 1% of the photons may be successfully transmitted through the optical fiber in the end. When the transmission distance reaches 500 kilometers, the photons that can finally pass through the optical fiber are only 1 in 10 billion. Therefore, the loss of photons in the propagation of optical fibers increases exponentially, which means that long-distance quantum communication cannot be achieved using traditional optical fibers. I in order to solve this problem and realize long-distance quantum communication technology, scientists have proposed a reliable carrier that can store optical signals for a long time, that is, the quantum U-disk. We have mentioned before. I in fact, the quantum U-disk does not store photons, but converts the state of photons into atom, and finally saves the atom. If you want to read data, you need a special device that converts the state of atoms into corresponding photons, and then acquires the data, therefore, the photons used for reading and the photons stored in are two different states. The first problem faced is how to control the photons in the two states to be as similar as possible in the process of transformation, 
So as to achieve the purpose of storing information. We just mentioned the first difficulty of optical storage, and there is another difficulty, which is the higher requirement for the time of optical storage. Scientists invented the quantum U disk for data transfer, not only in the vicinity, the transfer may be tens of kilometers, or hundreds of kilometers, or from one country to another country. Therefore, the optical storage of quantum U disk must have a certain time consumption. The scientific community agrees that the optical storage time must reach the hour level before it can be put into practical applications. However, the speed of light is the fastest in the world, and if you want to manipulate the speed of light, you need to reduce the speed of light, or even stop it, in order to achieve optical storage. This is also the ultimate goal of scientific research. Scientists have found that when light passes through certain medium, the speed of light will slow down due to the influence of refraction. For example, under the refraction of glass, the speed of light becomes 200,000 km per second. But this is far from enough. If you want to retain light, you need to constantly develop new media. In 1999, a research team from Harvard University successfully found a new medium which successfully reduced the speed of light to 17 meters per second through cold atomic gas. 14 years later, a research team from the University of Darmstadt in Germany successfully used praseodymium doped yttrium silicate crystals to achieve the feat of retaining light for one minute for the first time, making the possibility of a quantum U disk gradually become a reality. But we also said that in order to realize the application of optical storage, at least an hour level is required. So one minute is still far from enough. I end this way, China has also embarked on the road of challenge, turning theory into reality. With its self-developed optical Raman heterodyne detection nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer, the University of Science and Technology of China successfully achieved the feat of optical storage for one hour after continuous experiments. And after one hour of verification, it was found that the phase storage fidelity of light was as high as 96.4%. Such results show that China has successfully increased the optical storage from one minute to one hour, realizing a big leap from the minute level to the hour level. One hour, although it just meets the basic needs of quantum U disk, the research on it will take some time. In the next step, the Chinese scientific research team needs to continuously optimize the storage efficiency and signal-to-noise ratio in order to realize the creation of quantum U disk, making China the first country to have it. How much do you know about optical storage? Which country do you think will be the first to develop a quantum U disk? Okay, that's all for today. Your likes and views are the encouragement that we can move on more videos in the future. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. Goodbye.